Welcome to Hoffmann Photography. My name is Rainer. I'm a photographer and photo instructor. The Brightness Contrast tool is probably the most basic tool in any editing software. And it has been with us since the early days of image editing, let's say the late 1980s or so. And therefore, it's time to forget Brightness Contrast. Especially people who are new to image editing often use the brightness contrast tool routinely. And who could blame them? After all, in many editing programs, the brightness contrast tool appears right on top of a long list of tools with sometimes rather strange names. But everybody has an idea what brightness and contrast are, and so it's often the first choice. But generally, it's not a very good choice. And here's why. Here is the brightness contrast tool in action. Just moving the brightness slider a bit to the right results in blown out highlights and moving it a bit to the left results in completely black shadow areas. Increasing the contrast quickly results in blown out highlights and black shadow areas. Note that I have checked this inconspicuous checkbox that is labeled linear. By default, this box is unchecked. And for a good reason. Let's overdo the brightness level a bit, like so. Now I uncheck this box and watch what happens. And linear again. Obviously, the software designers have made this tool deliberately blunt so that inexperienced users can't do too much damage to their images. But in the early days of image editing, the linear option was the default. By the way, if you're using Photoshop, there is a checkbox in the brightness contrast tool labeled legacy. If you check that one, the results are similar, if not completely identical to the linear option here in Affinity Photo. My point is, when you are using the brightness contrast tool, you can easily blow out the highlights or blacken the shadows if you are not very careful. If you're not happy with the brightness or the contrast of your images, then there's a much better tool to correct that. I'm of course talking about the curves tool. Using the curves tool, let me first show you what the brightness contrast tool in its original form does to an image. If you brighten your image with the brightness tool, then this corresponds to a movement of the curve to the upper left, like so. All tonal values, even the dark ones, are now brighter than before. There is no real black anymore, but more importantly, all tonal values to the right of this line are now clipped and that results in blown out highlights. And you don't even have to look at the image to know that, that the highlights are blown out. The curve tool shows you that they are. Even if your monitor was completely decalibrated, you would know that the highlights are blown out, no matter how the image looks on the monitor. If you increase the contrast in the brightness contrast tool, the equivalent in the curve tool is a steeper line, like so. And now all the tonal values left of the lower left point of the curve are clipped as well, meaning all these tonal values go black. I'll reset that. Now, this image has a fairly low contrast. The very dark tonal values are missing and also the very bright tonal values are missing. That's easily corrected, however. I just move the lower left point of the curve to the right, where the tonal values in the histogram start, about here. And I move the upper right point to the left, where the tonal values start, about here. Now there is some real black and some real white in the image, but no tonal values have been clipped. 
And if you have the feeling that the image still looks a bit dull, then we can easily do something about that. We brighten the highlights a bit and we darken the shadows a bit. And there we are. The image looks fine, but no tonal values have been clipped. No blown out highlights and the shadows are not completely black. That's exactly what we want. There's of course much more to the curve tool and I've made a video that explains the curve tool in some detail. Link is in the description. The point here is that once you are familiar with the curve tool, you won't have any need for the brightness contrast tool anymore. I personally haven't used it in many years. I hope this helped and as always, thanks for watching.